How to run a Groovy script in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Now, how do we go about running a Groovy script within Jenkins? Well, we're going to use the Jenkins CLI. If you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video about how to use the Jenkins CLI down in the description. So let's go ahead and go over to Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Jenkins CLI and let's look for the command called Groovy. And when we take a look at Groovy, what we'll see is we'll pass in Groovy, a script, and then any arguments. Now I want to call out script. By taking a look at this, you would think, okay, I'll just say Groovy space and then the file name that has the script in it. But that would be incorrect. If we take a look at the arguments, we can see script to be executed only equals to represent standard in is supported. So what does that really mean? We'll take a look at that in just a second. Now I'm going to take an example script from the Jenkins scripts repository. It's under the Jenkins CI organization. The script we're going to be using is plugin manager simple report. And this is going to print out plugin information that we have that are installed or failed or pinned or whatever the status may be for that plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and go to raw. I'm going to copy this. Let's go ahead and go over. We'll create a file. I'm going to say vi list dash plugins just to make it simple and dot groovy. We'll go ahead and paste it in. And then going back over to what we had with our command, we're going to say java-jar, give it the jar name, groovy. Remember, we're going to use equals, and then we're going to redirect in the script from standard in. So let's go ahead and go over into our shell. I'm going to say java-jar, you can CLI jar, groovy. Remember, we need to use equals. And then we'll redirect in from standard in list-plugin.groovy. So let's go ahead and hit enter. If we take a look at the output, what we're going to see is we see all of the plugins that are installed on this controller from an installed perspective. And notice that we don't have anything for failed, pinned, bundled, any of those types of issues. So in order to run a Groovy script against a Jenkins controller using the CLI, create the file, remember to use equals for the script variable, and then redirect in the Groovy script that you want to have run. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBeast TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.